guys, Rob from Icebox Auto here today. Um, I'm just going to show you the latest install. What we've done is on a um, is a Tesla 12.1 inch screen uh, on a Bentley Continental. Uh, it does fit the 2004 to uh, 12 model or 11 model, should I say? Also fits the flying display. Um, we've also got other products for the Bentley, uh, which for the newer car. So feel free to check us on www. Iceboxauto.com. But I'm just going to give you a little demonstration on uh, the system we've put in today. We've got it in a, a nice gloss black finish, which tends to match the dash of the car. We do have another version, uh, which is a, like a light brown, but I'll be truthful with you, it doesn't tend to match many of the Bentleys. So obviously, I'd always recommend this black one, unless you think otherwise. Uh, so this is what you see now is the car play. It's, uh, it was working just at the beginning of the video, but we've got the CarPlay connected to the customer's phone and he's not inside the car so he's walked away from the car and this is what you're seeing now is the connection being lost but that was only because he's probably standing about 20 feet away so I'm just going to go back into the home page here to show you what it looks like so this is what you see on the home page here which basically is a information um, app from Google services which just gives you a little bit of temperature and has your time on there uh, so there's your music app too and also which you can play your music through a uh, flash pen uh, also you can put your movies on a flash pen and, and, and play all your music and your mp3s and your video files through there also this is the radio here now I'm going to keep the sound low today uh, only reason being is because any music that's on the videos and they tend to get a disclaimer or a copyright um, issue with um, YouTube and the basically not using, not having authorization to use certain people's music, so we'll just keep it off. It does work with the steering wheel controls, which you can see there. Um, so I'll just go out, out to the system here. Also, I can see some other applications on, on, on this section here, which is the AUX, which basically is if you want to stick anything into the system, such as um, TV boxes, the DVD boxes, then they go in through the RCA and you can play it through the AUX there, so it has that. Uh, Bluetooth, this is the Bluetooth menu, it's uh, connected to the customer's phone, it has phone box support, uh, and you can also stream your music through there, so obviously if you've got music on your phone, you can do that also. Video player, similar to the music app, just plays your movies through the pen, pen drive as I mentioned before. Music player, as you can see it's got a demo on there, but obviously it shows you all the nice ID tags that will show off your albums and stuff. Uh, calculator, oh God, I don't know why you want that one on there. CarLink, this is your CarPlay and your Android Auto. Sorry, that's the customer's phone coming in. <laughs> right, okay. Here's your CarPlay and Android Auto uh, application here. As I say, it's not connected at the moment because the customer's connection is outside. Uh, Carbit Link, this is a um, mirror link app. So basically, it'll mirror what's on your phone, but truthful it's um i wouldn't really sell it as working with this because only reason being is because the factories are starting to phase this app out uh, so basically you will find that some phones won't be compatible and some will uh, but you'll find that we don't advertise it we come with that one anyway so if it does work with your phone that's a bonus okay chrome this is obviously a, a browser from google which you can search through so if you want to have a little look at all, all our latest products on www.iceboxauto.com you could obviously find us through the Chrome uh, also this is another one, it's a Google one which is another browser Control, this is a steering wheel control menu app which is um, obsolete on this particular car because your uh, in, computer information for the steering wheel goes through the CAN bus box that is included in the package ok, DSP, equaliser allows you to enhance your music if you're into um, into your sound and yeah yeah your, your, your subwoofers and stuff like that so as you can see it's got some nice options here for each speaker front left right so obviously we'll put them all up um, okay and there's another little for the filter for the bass obviously you can increase that there like that that there go back out. Um, okay let's go back onto the other applications file manager it's if you want to um, upload any third party applications that's a good app to use which you basically if it's not through, on through the play store then you can use that one and you can download your apps from a USB pen 
and pretty much they'll show up in here. Okay, gallery, picture gallery, not really bothered. Maps, this is Google Maps here. So this is an online app that you would need to uh, have a phone connection to it. So you can either have your hotspot set up to the system or you can have a, a dongle with a um, 3G, 4, sorry, 4G, 5G SIM card. As you can see, it's not set up today. Uh, navigation. Now, what this basically means is um, you can download any map applications and your software goes into here. So obviously this is one we've already downloaded previously. So if we set that to there and then go back out and we press Navi now, you'll see that Waze now starts. Okay. Play Store. Okay, this is the Play Store here. This is, needs to be signed in by the customer. Uh, we've already preloaded some on our own account, but obviously we've signed back out of it for the obvious reasons. But you can sign in with your, with your own uh, Google Play account and then you'll have access to the Play Store where you can download all your applications. Okay, radio, I showed you that one before. Okay, touch assist. This is this uh, silly little button here which you can you can switch off, which I will do because obviously it's a bit annoying for my liking. Uh, YouTube is, oh sorry, go back up to vehicle settings. Okay, this is obviously where really it shows all your, your existing vehicle information and suspension and your trip computer on here so obviously you can do all the information through there if we go back out to the vehicle settings as you can see suspension your car level now if i was to do that up and down obviously it'll come up on the mfd display saying car being raised or lowered but obviously it has all your computer information on there so the unit does cater for your car so obviously you're not it's not there to make you lose any features it's there to actually enhance your car so you it's basically just shows exactly what you had on the original. Even so, you can see with the car CD, um, now with the CD change which is in the glove box, as you can see it shows on there, this is quite unique because it's not something that we come across quite often, which you probably find out most cars that do today, your CD drivers are obsolete with the aftermarket radios, but this one isn't. Okay, so that, oh yeah, sorry, just show you the air temperature. So, as you can see at the bottom, air temperatures, and the um, information for your heated seats and your, your, your air fans and stuff like that all shows up there so that's another little added feature so as i said the unit is a nice little number as i would say in this in this seat and um, if you've got any questions or you need any information on our products get in touch with us at www.iceboxauto.com um, or contact us on the email address or phone number which will be put in below the, in the comment section. Okay, I'll uh, thanks for watching, and I'm um, looking forward to bringing another nice new gizmo to you soon. Take care.